Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Washington Post gets lit up by the Donald after spreading fake news story. If there's anything that Donald Trump likes more than being president, being rich and being able to melt liberal snowflakes everywhere, it's going after the fake news media. And the great thing is, they make it so easy. Take the Washington Post, the place where democracy, and factual reportage, has been dying in darkness ever since Janet Cook was covering prepubescent heroin addicts in the early 1980s. They haven't printed anything quite that fake in recent years but darned if they haven't been trying to at least approach Miss Cook's lofty standard of hoaxery. One of those strivers is Dave Weigel, a WAPO reporter who decided to tweet about President Trump's rally in Pensacola, Florida, on Friday. Given Weigel's employer, I'm going to guess he doesn't exactly have a monthly rail pass on the Trump train. On his private Twitter account, Mr. Weigel took a shot at the president, as WAPO reporters are wont to do. There are two things one notices here, 1, Dave Weigel's ridiculous Twitter avatar makes him look like one of the lesser members of the fictional band Stillwater from Cameron Crowe's Almost Famous and 2, this looks like the crowd from an XFL game. The second point would have been a devastating prospect for Trump. After all, he's known for his loyal fan base, and if his crowds are being reduced to Jeb Bush-sized affairs, that's not a good thing. There's one slightly teeny little problem here, however, the picture, according to Trump, was taken hours before he arrived at the venue. And, as you can see from the photographic evidence the president provided, one tends to believe the commander-in-chief. Trump said that Weigel put out a phony photo of an empty arena hours before I arrived at the venue, with thousands of people outside, on their way in. Real photos now shown as I spoke. Packed house many people unable to get in. Demand apology and retraction from fake news WAPO. Weigel actually did apologize because, well, what was the alternative? He'd already been called out by the president in the UK Daily Mail's US politics editor David Mardosko, according to The Hill, which led to the photo's deletion. Nevertheless, Trump decided apologies weren't quite going to cut it. Weigel can apologize all he wants. But this is a serious issue. I don't wish unemployment on Dave Weigel, but let's put it this way, were this me and had I done this, I'd be working on my resume. Either way, he deserved the savage burn he, and his employer, got from President Trump. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Editors note, this story has been modified since it was originally published. What do you think should happen to this reporter? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.